After receiving federal approval over the weekend and with distribution fast track, some of our country's health care workers will receive their first dose of Pfizer COVID-19 vaccine today. So joining us to discuss what to expect as the coronavirus vaccine rollout begins is the head of Pfizer's clinical trial at Yale, Associate Professor of Medicine and Infectious Disease Specialist, Dr. Onyema Obuagu. Thank you so much for being back on GMA3. So let's get right to it. Last week, the FDA issued an emergency use authorization for the Pfizer vaccine. What groups are included under this authorization and tell us what groups are excluded? Yeah, I mean, first of all, thanks for having me again, uh, TJ and Janae. I hear Amy's under quarantine. I'm probably not the worst thing to be quarantined uh, from TJ. Ah. Um, yes, <laughs> we're, happy about this. <laughs> we're really excited about the rollout of the vaccine and rolling up of the sleeves that will happen this week. So we do know that the emergency use authorization um, it does recommend that the vaccine be um, uh, used for individuals age 16 and above. And of course, that does not include individuals younger than age 16. We know there's about 20 million individuals within that demographic. Um, and there's no upper age limit, which is great. We saw that the first um, individual who received the vaccine in the UK was 90 years old. Um, there is obviously a warning based on the UK experience about those severe allergies to components of the vaccines. Now, just um, a word of caution, this is not just routine allergies. Anaphylaxis is a severe allergy. So um, individuals who have that history also would be cautioned not to, to receive the vaccine. There's also this issue of side effects. Um, you, you might have some redness or some soreness or some fatigue. That's to be expected and that's normal. And we don't need people to think that something's wrong uh, once they get the vaccine if some of these things do come up. That's correct, TJ. So, you know, I describe it as a nuisance. Um, I think that, you know, uh, first of all, that the, the reactions people can expect from the Pfizer vaccine are not different from other vaccines such as the flu. In fact, one of the vaccines that actually causes a lot of discomfort is the shingles vaccine. If someone, uh, those who've received it, can use that as a frame of reference. The reality is that most of these reactions are mild and uh, tolerable and resolve pretty quickly. And we know when they're getting the vaccine, this will come in two doses, three weeks apart. How long long is someone protected after they get both of those doses administered? So it's interesting. So the, the clinical trial data showed that you actually started to experience benefits after the first vaccination, roughly about day 10 to 14 after the first dose. But we know that you actually truly um, 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 experience the, F, the, total, the full efficacy, the 95% protection a week after you've received the second dose, which is 28 days after the first dose. So important to remember that. Dr. Oyema Obuagu, thank you so much for being here today, especially on such an important day with us. It's my pleasure. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.